Pete, what's in the barrels? Fish food. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. You wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? prohibited by royal decree in ancient Fiji. But this is decided. Not ancient Fiji, there's way more liquor stores. Payday lenders. Don't run away to the sea with a head full of romantic notions of dynamiting sharks for a living.
The Hoosier Hotshot, Ensign Tyler Dixon. situation further escalates. It's quite beautiful here. Unfortunately, bull sharks can't see. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. Is over, but the war goes on. Retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. One out of a thousand sea turtles lives to adulthood. That means this turtle is quite the survivor. Pelagic Beast surveys the scene with cold, unfeeling eyes.
This mineral supplement wouldn't be necessary if this shark ate a more nutritious, well-balanced diet. In black attack, the Orca.
season ends, hunters return to their normal routine of bouncing checks and liquor stores. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. Mammal parks now have a new favorite trick killing things. They got their fish fingers. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side aerials. Anita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver.
that proper preemptive measures weren't taken to secure this area from wildlife encroachment. Most shark hunters have close friends or family members who have been eaten or happy by sharks. surface miles to be exact, making a fit among the world's seas. Due to caviar keys increased coastal exposure, storms that had a minor impact three decades ago caused significant damage today. Humans have seen less than 5% of our oceans, which means there's still plenty of treasure out there for everybody. Accelerating destruction of the Gulf has occurred in tandem with a wholly humanized view of progress and development. Sophisticated wildlife management has never been a priority in Fort Clovis, and so amateur hour begins.
The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. The corn-fed colossus, Butcher Boy Brady. Fit inside! Roll out! We got a shark that needs punishment. I see it! War of attrition between man and nature. The water along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear, which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. Many consider the Gulf Stream to be the world's greatest current, but for my money, you can't beat that Kurashima. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm.
the bad fish gears because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Insatiable fish. The bull shark is nine tenths appetite. This hurt. Just if you can see that I'm made of A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. Sharks have terrorized mariners for centuries. This yacht, like many in Port Clovis, was registered in the Caymans to avoid onerous taxes and regulations. gold fixtures, two discos, circular staircases, and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht.
male sperm whale needs to eat over a ton of food every day, which here in the Gulf mostly consists of hammerhead sharks.
It's a quasi-legal get-rich-quick scheme set aside for now. The sharpshooters get to work. The hunt is over, and there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. Only here can the shark discover the miracle of self-love. <laughs>